Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll guide you through the process of retrieving, deactivating, and transferring a Windows product key from one PC to another. This can be particularly useful if you're planning a hardware upgrade. We'll be focusing on Windows 10 for this tutorial, and it's important to note that this method applies specifically to the retail version of Windows 10. Remember, all the commands used in this guide are listed in the video description below. Now, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process. Before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is this, this is a Windows 10 system and it's running Windows 10 Pro. As mentioned earlier, this method is only applicable to retail versions of Windows product keys. Any other product keys won't work for this. To follow along, we will be using the built-in Windows command prompt, PowerShell, or registry keys. All these commands and keys are in the description below. We won't be using any third-party tools for this guide. So, as you can see by running these commands, we can confirm in the first step that this Windows is activated and it's running Windows 10 Pro. So let's move on to the first step. First method. Type in the search bar, CMD, right click on command prompt, and run as administrator. Then type in this command and press enter, PC is running with a retail product key. You should be able to see the key on the screen, then, you can take a picture or screenshot and save it for later use. Second method to retrieve the product key. Go to the Windows search at the bottom and search for PowerShell. Right-click and run as administrator, then paste this command into PowerShell. If your copy is retail, it should show you the product key, and you can copy it or take a screenshot. The third method will be using the Registry Editor. Again, search for RegEdit, right-click on Registry Editor, run as administrator, and go to the following key. Local machine backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows NT backslash current version backslash software protection platform. On the right hand side, you should be able to see backup product key default. If the key is visible, you can double click on it to view the key and make a copy. Create a new text file anywhere on the desktop or wherever you like, and then paste the key for safekeeping.
Now that we've done the first step and found the key and saved it, let's move on to the second step. This step is going to deactivate the key from the old PC so that it can be transferred to a new PC. Again, search for CMD and run the command prompt as administrator. Run this command, and you'll see a confirmation box coming up stating that you have uninstalled the product key successfully. Now, run the second command. This command will show you that the product key has been cleared from the registry successfully. Run another command, and this will confirm that there is no product key on the system anymore. Run one last command. And after this, Windows will prompt you to restart it to take changes into effect. There we have it, folks, we have successfully deactivated the Windows product key from the PC. Now, on to the third step, which is transferring the same key to a new PC. There are two methods. Method 1, you can either use the key during the installation of Windows. So, when you are installing Windows after choosing the language, Windows will ask you to input the product key. You can either type your key in this box and click Next, and after the installation completion, your Windows will be fully activated. The second method is for if, for some reason, you missed the first part and your Windows is already installed and it says the Windows is not activated. Then you can follow this method. Run the command prompt as admin and copy and paste this command with the product key you made note of and press enter. Wait for a moment, and a confirmation box will appear, saying that your product key has been installed successfully. Now you can see that Windows 10 Pro is fully activated with the license key. And you can also confirm this by running the following few commands, just to make sure that the Windows key is present and activated. All the commands in this guide are in the video description below.
Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it.